Hello, welcome back to our Friday show. Today we will do some healing or a message. A message. Something inspirational, something that you can take and um, maybe get something out of it. Yeah, maybe apply to your life, maybe release something, something like that. And remember that all of our, so, you know, we are, we are psychics, we're mediums uh, and Traditionally, this is for entertainment purposes. Uh, In no way is it uh, advice for your life. Um, Anything that you do, you do of your own free will. Uh, Nothing that we say is, is, uh, you know, set in stone or anything Mm -hmm. like that. And what's more is if it doesn't resonate, uh, leave it, just leave it behind. Don't, don't try to force it to fit into your life, whatever, whatever it is that we're talking about. So, Mm -hmm. good, yeah. Those little disclaimers. Well, we have to say it. We do. <laughs> we do. And so what we do is we, what we want to do is we want to invite you mm-hmm. to just uh, get comfortable, take that um, deep cleansing breath, maybe close or lower your eyes and just deep cleansing breath and join us in that heart centered space. So, yeah. Do you have anything that's coming through right now? So I have Archangel Michael coming in, um, telling really all of us to to know that we are always protected and always loved. So even if we don't feel we're being protected or loved, it's it's he's there. They're always there. The, the light beings are always there to help us and protect us, even in our darkest times. So just know that it's it's if you think something is really tough, just know that if they would not be there with us, it could always be worse. So just know that the lessons we are learning from going through something or something tough or something that we we struggle with, it makes us a better person. I know it's it's hard to believe that sometimes, but a lot of times we need the experiences in order to move forward or to raise our vibration, but know that no matter what we go through, the angels or whatever you believe in, they're always with us and make sure that we're protected and in a safe space within that experience. So just know we're never alone. Yeah, that's, we all have a divine team. We all have a team of angels and archangels and ascended masters that work with us. And, and uh, yeah, we, and so they are, they're always with us. They're always taking care of us. Um, I think if you looked back on your life at all the times that things could have been even worse, you would see that somehow mysteriously, magically, miraculously, you it wasn't that it wasn't as bad yeah. as it could have been, yeah. you know, I mean, there's times it's been pretty bad, but you know, that, so it's interesting. The, what was coming through for me. Um, so for those of you that don't know, I do. Um, well, we, we didn't really talk about who we, who we work with. So you work with Archangel Michael, who else, do, what are some of the other beings that you typically do you have um, do you like a, give a list? I have a list. <laughs> not really. So Archangel Michael comes through mostly when I do readings for other people. So oh, I'm, I'm actually surprised he's coming through right now. So mm-hmm. my, the being that I'm channeling is Melchizedek. So mm-hmm. he is, if you're familiar with the archangel Melchizedek, so Melchizedek is the, is the energetic son of this mm-hmm. archangel. So it's a narrowed down version of the father. Mm-hmm. And that's the being that I'm channeling. So I'm actually surprised that my um, archangel Michael came through. But mm-hmm. it's really... I believe he's talking because this world is going through a shift. There's a lot of things going on right now, you know, in this world, in this society, everywhere on the planet. And it's, it's, it's scary. Sometimes Mm -hmm. it's scary to see what's out there, but they're with us. They're always with us. Absolutely. Well, I typically, when I channel, I will typically channel uh, Buddha, or um, Jesus, uh, Kuan Yin, and um, and then John Lennon, and uh, who's kind of one of my favorites. And interestingly enough, so this is this is 
we talk, we'll talk about synchronicities, right? When, when mm-hmm. things are happening, you and I both have been having some really <clears throat> crazy synchronistic yes. events uh, lately. And uh, interestingly enough, I walked into my apartment yesterday and my roommate was watching yesterday uh, and there, if for, I'm going to spoiler alert, I'm going to spoil it all for you. If you've not seen yesterday, um, stop here, go watch it and then come back. Uh, because there's a scene that I was like, it was within, I don't know, maybe three, four minutes of me walking in and it's where, um, he encounters John Lennon and it's a, it's a, an alternate reality where John Lennon lives to be at least 78 years old. And uh, I remember the first time that I saw this in the theater and I just sobbed, like I caught my breath. I'm like, Oh my God, John Lennon lives. And I just, you know, Mm -hmm. and I just sobbed and sobbed and sobbed. And uh, so what I had done is I had pulled a card uh, from a, from a deck and it's actually one of my, it's a favorite, it's a Colette Baron Reed and it's the enchanted map uh, oh. card deck. And I love this. I love this deck so much. And mm-hmm. the card that I pulled is called talisman and it's um, number 49. And so I, I looked it up and I was like, oh, okay, that's okay. And then I closed my eyes and I said, all right, spirit, what, what do you most want us to know? So I'm going to go back into that. And what's interesting is I, um, so that the, the, the card talisman speaks of, uh, you already, you already have the experience. You already have the wisdom to do whatever decision that you are trying to make right now. You already, you already know what to do. You already have that wisdom. And then I began to read the reversed side and it began to talk about those of us who are getting that, that nudge, that elbow, that elbow nudge in the, you know, in the rib cage, but we're continuing to stay in patterns of behavior that are not moving us forward. We're doing it because we're afraid. And I was hearing John Lennon singing. um, I'm just sitting here watching the wheels go round and round. Oh, how I love to watch him roll. And you know, he wrote that song when everybody was going, don't you miss being on tour? Don't you miss making music? At the time he was raising his son, Sean, you know, he was, he was a stay at home dad. He was baking bread and he was cooking and he wasn't missing anything. And with that, he's giving me two messages. One if you are living the simple life and you are doing or your choice is about getting out of the rat race and moving into the simple life, if that's the choice that you're making, know that you're not going to miss it. You're just going to, you're going to sit back and watch those wheels go round and round. You know, I'm, I just, I'm seeing him, you know, in, in that apartment, the, the Dakota in New York City, just cooking and his son playing, you know, there on the, there next to him as he's kneading the bread. If moving to a more simpler way of life is what you want to do, then the knowledge of how to make that happen is already within you. Mm-hmm. And that's sustainable for us now. He also says that there comes a time when watching the wheels go round and round begins to create insanity because we're just doing the same things over and over again, expecting growth and expecting things to to happen. And at some point in that habit of watching the wheels go round and round, he did want to start making music again. He felt that, that inspiration. And so he had to move out of the comfort zone again. You know, first the comfort zone was making music and traveling with the Beatles. And then he stopped and raised his son and that became comfortable. And he had this fear, this great fear. What if, what if they don't accept me? What if my time is over? What if, you know, and he played all these what if games, but his what ifs were really low vibe, but he did it anyway. He stopped watching the wheels go round and round and he went out and began to make music again. And so if you are watching the wheels go round and round because it's what you've been doing for the past 40 or 50 years, 
ask yourself, are you what ifing on the low end? Or are you what ifing on the upper end? Are you, instead of saying, what if it, what if it fails? What if it flops? What if, what if I can't do it? What if I can't sustain it? Are you saying, what if it succeeds? What if I succeed? What if I can sustain it? What if it changes my life for the good? What if it changes my family's life for the good? What if I get to be of service in a much more powerful way? So not only can you change your life, but as Bettina said, you are also protected every step that you that you take every every everywhere you go <clears throat> there's our friday message that's our friday <laughs> message i want to add something to it because you said something like the, your last sentence of um your channeling here something about you helping others i did pick a card okay and by synchronicity was divine healing <laughs> All right, so that's what we're doing, the divine healing. And it says, honor your sensitivity. If you feel, I feel if you feel you're too sensitive, you're not, okay? Mm -hmm. It's your superpower. It's your superpower. Yeah. You're in tune with yourself and honor that. Mm -hmm. Retreat and recharge and heal. Don't be afraid to shut out the world. Mm -hmm. at, at times when you need it, just do it and and retreat and heal and when you heal it says your light can support others so not only are you healing yourself but you will heal and inspire others so that feeds into that message doesn't okay. it if you're if you're in that repetitive rat race and you okay. feel like you need to get out of it and you're playing that what if game that yeah. well what if what if what if i miss my chance if i don't do it now well, what if you are being told by spirit to slow down and heal, to yeah. slow down and, and get out of it? You are supported in that. Do we want to Very end with so. a couple? Do we want to end with a couple minutes of Reiki on that on that yes, note? Absolutely. If, if you are Let's interested, in, yeah. If you're interested in uh, in in sitting here for I don't know, we'll do it until you know we get to about fifteen minutes, sixteen minutes. Mm -hmm. um, just. You know, close your eyes, open your eyes, accept it, and mm -hmm. we are going to give you the Reiki.
Yeah, not ready. Thank you so much, Spirit, for being with us today and sending out Reiki. Mm-hmm. Don't forget to tune in to the podcast, Two Crones with a Mic. We drop an episode every Tuesday, wherever you get your podcasts. And we come back on Friday with a little uh, message from Spirit. Hopefully it resonates and yes. and uh, hopefully it inspires and encourages and empowers yes. you. And it heals, hopefully. And it heals. Absolutely. Thank Thanks, everybody. So Thank you. <laughs>